Hey! I bet you've received good results from your entrance examination. That's why you are here. So now, I am going to guide you on to the next steps after passing the De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute's entrance examination and the admission procedure for DLS and HSI Senior High School should you wish to continue your education here. So without further ado, let's get started. After taking the entrance examination, please wait for at least one day after examination for your result and then you will have to proceed to the next step, which I explained on this video. Click here to watch. Once you have finalized your course of choice, you now have to pay the 600 peso admissions processing fee via interbranch deposit or online bank transfer. After that, you have to submit the following requirements to the La Salian Admissions and Scholarship Opportunities by sending an email to screeningeval at dlshhi.edu.ph and please send a carbon copy of your email to jplachica at dlshhi.edu.ph. The subject of the email should be online admission, senior high, or undergraduate applicant. The following requirements that you should include in the email are Proof of payment or validated deposit slip Year levels 9 to 10 copy of grades for senior high applicant Or year levels 11 and 12 copy of grades for undergraduate applicants Transcript of records or certification of grades for transferring. You should also attach a recorded video of you answering guide interview questions in MP4 format. If you upload it on Google Drive, then please make sure that you give permission to the recipient or at least turn on the link sharing for the Lasallian Admissions and Scholarship Opportunities to access the files and video you submitted. You also have to specify the following information in the email. The temporary ID number generated during online application or ID number for DLSM HSI senior high students. Name of examinee, program applying for, including your first choice, second choice, and third choice, contact number, and email address. After sending it, you have to wait for an email from the Lasallian Admissions and Scholarship Opportunities for the final result of the evaluation. So, how is it? <gasps> yes! yes! We may now proceed to confirmation process step 1, which is the reservation. If you have successfully passed all the criteria for screening and evaluation, you shall receive an acceptance letter from the Lasallian Admission and Scholarship Opportunities with the complete instructions on to the next steps. The applicant has to pay the 10,000 peso reservation fee via interbranch deposit or online bank transfer to confirm your slot. Remember that reservation is on a first-come, first-served policy and that reservation is non-refundable and non-transferable. But it will be deducted to your total amount of tuition fee if you will proceed to enrollment. Applicants who do not comply to all the following requirements, regardless of payment, shall have their reservation fees for fee. The deadline for slot reservation is one month after the applicant has received the acceptance letter or until slots are available on the program you are applying for. What if I want to change the program I am applying for? What should I do? You can still change the program you are applying for even if you already paid for your reservation fee. As long as you are eligible on the program you are applying for based on your acceptance letter and if there is still a slot available for you. To do that, please visit the Lasallian Admission and Scholarship Opportunities webpage, click Downloadable Form, then download Request for Change of Course form. Email pfcampana at dlshhi.edu.ph the complete and signed request for change of course form with the subject request for change of course. Then wait for the confirmation that your request has been approved. Let us now proceed to step 2, which is the submission of complete and signed Lasallian Admissions and Scholarship Opportunities Forms. You're in, you have to submit the following requirements at kmgabiana at dlshsi.edu.ph for senior high applicants or to pfcampana at dlshsi.edu.ph for undergraduate applicants. And again, 
please make a carbon copy of your email at jplachica at dlshsi.edu.ph. The subject of the email should be reservation of slot. The following requirements that you have to attach in the email are proof of payment or validated deposit slip, completed and signed acknowledgement letter for Filipino or foreign applicants, completed and signed applicant personal history statement, completed and signed declaration of agreement, completed and signed special needs assessment form, and completed and signed declaration of citizenship. The forms mentioned are available at this link which you may see on the description box below. It would be better to prepare a checklist so you won't forget any necessary documents. Also, do not forget to specify the following information in your email. Name of applicant, temporary ID number generated during online application, program you applied for, contact number, and email address. We are now up to step 3. The medical examination. All applicants are required to undergo a medical examination conducted by our industrial clinic. However, due to the current situation, the medical examination is postponed until further notice. The La Salle admissions and scholarship opportunities shall post updates on their official Facebook page, so make sure that you are following them to not miss any important announcement. We are now proceeding to step 4. The Uniform Measurement Click the online uniform measurement form and uniform measurement guide and uniform design on the link provided for online uniform measurement. Do not worry because uniform is already included in the tuition fee for some of the programs. For special requests or changes regarding your school uniform, you may coordinate directly to the institution's official tailor. Step 5. Submission of Original Documents now you have to send the following documents on or before your enrollment date via snail mail or courier. You may go to physical outlets or at home via Lalamove or Grab or whichever you prefer so long as you send your original PSA birth certificate, original Form 138 High School Report Card from 4th year for incoming senior high, or 6th year from undergraduate applicant. High School Diploma or Certificate of Moving Up or Certificate of Graduation or Original Transfer Credentials or honorable dismissal from previous school for transfer use and certificate of moral character issued by the student affairs or its equivalent and again along with these documents you should specify the following information name of applicant program you applied for citizenship contact number and email address the recipient's details are mr ken gabiana for senior high applicants or Mr. PJF Campana for undergraduate applicants, who are admission staff and head for admissions, respectively. The address to which you should send the document is this. If you have already ticked all the boxes on your checklist, then it's good to be sent away. Afterwards, you shall receive the enrollment permit from the Lasallian Admissions and Scholarship Opportunities and the assessment form and enrollment procedures from the registrar through email. And we are down to the last step, the enrollment procedure. Visit the link provided for the online enrollment procedures which you can see on the email sent to you. For undergraduate applicants who graduated from non-STEM strands, you are recommended to take the institution's bridging program. See the description below for the link on how to apply for the bridging program. Ah, yes, I definitely need that because I heard there's a lot of physics and chemistry subjects, right? Yep, but that program is not mandatory, so if you don't feel like taking it, then that's okay. Anyway, if you have finished all these steps, then congratulations and welcome to the La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute. I hope to see you around the campus soon. Animal, let's start.